It's no secret that I love New Mexico. I've had some amazing memories here with some great friends. Some of the best experiences of my life have come in the form of elk hunting and eating giant burritos in New Mexico. But this time we're not here to elk hunt. We're here for some burritos and for some shits. Let's go. That's a heavy buck. I just matched him. My name's Ben and I'm on a quest to find a shed antler in every state in the US. I don't even know if this is possible and I'm risking everything to try to get it done. Come along with me as we travel the country in search of shed antlers. what it looks like waking up after a night of 0% chance of snow. Oh well, let's go get him. All right, you guys, we made it down in here to the spot that we're gonna be hiking for these sheds. Drop down into some canyons, really pretty country. It's nice, we have water right here close by, so we're gonna kinda throw some stuff out. Keep going on a little camp spot here. Unload the pack. EC's already unloaded over there. Paul's over here, and we got big time. Yo, it's crushing. So, this is just kind of a starting point. We'll leave our camp and our gear here, and then we'll fan out and go hit these faces and stuff in search of some elk antlers. Hopefully we can get New Mexico crossed off today. I believe that we can, and if not, we got a pretty good chunk of day tomorrow to hike as well before we gotta pull out of here. So I think between half a day today and at least half tomorrow, so we got plenty of time. There's camp all set up. Braden still hasn't put his stuff up yet, but it is time to start hiking. So I'm gonna get my homemade trekking pole. I had to uh, whittle this thing, so I forgot my trekking pole. It'll work, and we're gonna go bust some brush. See this? I don't know if it's focused on that or not, but some elk hair. Fighting my way up through this thick brushy stuff. I'm trying to find the zone and man, not much sign. The elk are definitely traveling it. There's tracks and poop and stuff through here, but not much sign. I talked to, uh, heard from Eric on the radio. He said he found one small chalk uh, that he left. Braden said that he's got a hard white elk antler. I didn't hear how big it was. And then he's got a, said a really cool deer antler. Um, I don't think Paul's found anything yet. So my kind of theory for this whole place was to hit these low brushy ridges and just kind of fight the brush. See how the sign was, but it's not really looking very great. So I think I'm actually gonna head up to the top of this ridge behind me run along the top of the ridge, look what the higher stuff looks like, and then pick a finger up there to go check out. So, still got a few hours left in the day. I'm still confident we're gonna knock out New Mexico. Let's go. So this is the sign we've been looking for. Fresh beds, fresh tracks, piston, everything they smell heavy like elk. And I look down the ridge and there's a freaking horn right there. It smells heavy on this ridge. There's gotta be some browns on this point, but up there, ooh. It's a chalky sucker. <laughs> chalky. Shoot up five point. Man. <laughs> well. That's when everything changes just like that. So that's the New Mexico shed right there. Now. Oh, what a junker. <laughs> chewed. That point's chewed off pretty much. Little color there, but I'm I'm keeping it, and you know why? It's a New Mexico junker right there. Counts though, chalker. So what I'm doing with this series is I'm trying to have an antler from every state. And my original thought was it'll be the first shed I find in each state. That's the one I take. But I decided I'm gonna do the best antler I find in every state instead of just the first. That way the collection's a little bit funner to look at and stuff. So that one's going on the pack right there. First New Mexico antler. If I can find something better on this trip, I may leave that one behind, but I'm bringing it just in case that is the one. 
All right, now with the quality of sign that's right here behind me, it's time to do some gridding because I can tell nobody came down off this finger yet. So I got over here to uh, this other ridge and uh, it's loaded with sign as well. So I'm gonna, I dropped my pack already. I'm gonna zigzag this whole point. It kind of is a sweeping saddle down to a nice ridge with some oak on it. So more good sign. Maybe there's something here for us. Let's go see. You guys, we have located the bowl zone in 1989. <laughs> Look at that old sucker. Big third on it. <laughs> What's left of a pink chalk. I cannot believe I'm not finding anything fresh unless this stuff gets picked more than we think it does. Like, I haven't seen any boot tracks. There was none, actually there was one boot track coming in, but I doubt he would have made it to here just because the odds of it with such a great expanse to cover, but um, bowl tracks, bowl beds all over, all over these pockets and just not really getting anything fresh. So just keep working them. Got probably a few hours before dark. So I'm gonna give everything I got today and then we'll cruise down to camp. See it there in the creek? I don't know what it is yet. I haven't been over there. I've seen, gosh dang it, it's probably chalk. I think it is. Ugh. It's in better shape than the one I got on my back, but actually it might be hard white. Well, it's definitely chalky. Probably washed down from up above there but it's good to see one good to know they exist after gridding out all this stuff that looked so good i was convinced i'd find something decent let's go pick them up it's a little treacherous ouch that's older than dirt older than the one i got on already well it's in better shape than the one i got on look at that really cool third heavy third it's kind of a nice little log to help it display. Yeah, I mean, almost like it belongs here forever. There it is. Chalky little sixer. My camera's on the bouncy log now. <laughs> Hope it doesn't fall, so. Anyway, this one will probably stay. Folks, drop down across the creek, just following the creek back to camp. And I saw the tines. Another chalk. We might pass the hard light. Three year old antler, probably. Maybe four. But four on the day zero to get excited about probably because i'm just tired and it's almost time to go eat food and go to sleep both of those things sound very nice to me right now but nice little bonus on the way out and this one will come with me at least to camp man i'm more i'm worked out i'm so tired <laughs> just keep trudging along for camp maybe there'll be some more along the creek here that's a that antler's been sitting there for a lot of years, so. Dude, it looks mega. E, you, walk, Dude, you look tired. This place is barren wasteland. Dang, we got dog skulls. <laughs> yeah, that's, the that's the most unique acorns. find of the day. <laughs> Dude, trying to hide? He's oh, trying to, Eric's yeah. all about the theater. I already see it, dude. It's big, dude. 
Sheesh. Solid shit, bro. Solid white, right? Nice Good one. Buck. Big frame. Oh, oh gosh, that. dude. Well, that's not even the big one. Oh, that was, you did a teaser. <laughs> All right. Brown. Nice brown. Let's freaking go. Dude, that other one is huge. That looks almost like that one I found. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> gosh, bro. Dude. That's a hammer. That's sweet, huh? Oh, oh bro. my. Look at the brow. I know, the brow is good, the front's giant. That deer is sweet. Dude, I was just like mobbing up this hill, like rodeo grounds for moo cows and just cow pies, head down. Uh, look to my right and I'm, it's just like right there by, like from here to the rock. I'm like, no way, dude, that, brown. That one's big, That's bro. an 85 inch horn. The dude right there, all, all solid, together. bro, all <laughs> solid. And no matches. Huh. <laughs> what could that deer's other side be? Dude, I just love your cheaters. Oof. Oh, look at that brow, dude. Things gnarly. Oh, told you there's some monster mules in here. Yeah. That's I'd still wild. rather find that than any elk. I was trying to get Braden on the radio so he can come help. I couldn't hear anything. Ooh. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> That's a big horn, dude. Yeah, dude. That deer's eight, uh, he's 80 plus for sure. That horn's 80 plus. Dude, that beam's 23, 22. That's what we got going on the menu tonight. Brought, brought. I got a can of spam tucked down in there. I got this idea for some ramen spam that I'm gonna try in the old jet boil. It might be a winner, and it might not. So we're 45 minutes into this good push, two and a half miles over to where Eric found that big deer horn. Um, and we've kind of decided, hold on. <coughs> you better say bless you. We tried to, we kind of decided that our mission for today was gonna be to try to match up this deer horn. So we got all hands on deck and we're rolling over there to fan out and try to find the other half of that buck. I hope we can do it. The elk shed hunting is a little bit rough. That bulls aren't really pulling here this year, so we decided to make that the team goal for the day. So if we can put that set together, it'd be cool to see what he is. We all think he's somewhere between 180, 190 inches, so killer buck. Well, folks, I guess we're in deer pocket because Eric just said he, oh, those are nice. Those are newer than I thought. These are a little newer than I thought. They're last year's probably. Um, but it might be your buck, Eric. Sweet, I'm gonna take a few pictures of those and get a pickup. That's actually a really nice set. And it opened my shutter and didn't start recording, so sorry. This is not the true pickup. I already picked them up, but there they are. Really tall, nice buck. Big, long G2s. Sweet deer. Braden just popping off with a big elk horn. This is a good pocket. Really haven't even started. Yep, I got you. No, off of I think your other brown. Okay, well, yeah, we're getting into it. That's cool. Sounds good. I'm just gonna work this pocket that we marked. All right, folks, we came here for elk, and uh, the result is a whole lot of mule deer. So, Paul found this sweet buck. Who knows what he could have had on the front end, but just like my kind of a deer, big kicker, big ridges, sweet buck. We don't know. We don't think we have anything else off of him. And then obviously this donkey from yesterday was what we were over there to try to match up and we made some serious lines everybody gritted out and never could match him up so he may be forever single i don't know if anybody's going back over there to look again um then eric had found this brown yesterday and then this is the set that i picked up which is probably last year's maybe the year prior i think last year's off of that buck tall G2 buck and obviously his back fork got a little bit better 
on this year's and then these four antlers are all off of this same buck but big time picked up that heavy freaking sweet brown to one that Eric had this hard white yesterday so pretty killer day on the deer antlers um, Braden hauled out a bunch of chalks and Paul found hard white I guess so I, I mean it's not a failure had a great trip down here in New Mexico knocked her out checked her off the list that's what matters and now we're off to the next state which I don't know what it's gonna be but I think it's gonna be fun whatever it is so anyway United Sheds of America baby let's go all right you guys so thank yous are gonna go really quickly this time uh, I edited the Arizona video like yesterday and then these are just a few orders that have came in since I edited that video I didn't think about splitting them up for both videos so anyway uh, we only have five here Ross Musgrove thank you Ross Mike Ulmer, thank you Mike. Garrett Bollinger, thank you very much Garrett. Um, David Cox, thank you David. And Chris Fulgham, so thank you guys very much. Very good size orders and I really appreciate your guys' support. Keeping me rolling this week. Tomorrow I'm off on another road trip, headed down south a long ways to make some more videos for you guys. And I'm excited to get on the road and get going. So thank you guys for watching the videos, thanks for watching the series, supporting what we're doing. See you on the next video.